Hey guys, welcome to the 12th lecture of the DIP series. This is Anushree and today we're going to talk about fundamentals of spatial filtering. So what is spatial filtering? If you look at the word filtering, it is borrowed from frequency domain processing and it basically refers to accepting, which means passing or rejecting certain frequency components. So if it passes low frequencies, then it is called a low pass filter. Whereas if it passes high frequencies, it's called a high pass filter. We can accomplish a similar smoothening directly on the image itself using spatial filters. Now spatial filters are also known as masks, kernels, templates and windows. So we will understand this better once we look at the questions. Now under linear spatial filtering, we have two concepts, convolution and correlation. Now let's look at an example of this. The first one we have convolution. Let i equal to 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 be an image using the mask k equal to 3 to 8 perform convolution. So we have the image i and the uh, mask k here. Okay. So the first process which we have to perform is zero padding process for convolution. So in convolution process, we have to rotate the kernel by 180. What we'll do is, we'll just take this kernel and we we'll rotate this by 180, which means we write the opposite of this. So let's just write 8, 2, 3 here. Okay, we write this 8, through, uh, 8 to 3 and then we we'll write the image just below this from the last bit. So we we'll write 0, 0, 1 0 0 here okay and where this image ends we will write the mask uh, 180 degrees rotated again so we write 8 2 3 now what this tells us is that we have to pad the zeros right so we'll pad them at the starting and ending so we'll just add two zeros here and two zeros here that's it now the second step is the initial position. Here what we do is we just write our rotated mask or kernel which was 8, 2, 3 and then we write our zero padded image here which was 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now what we have to do is we have to multiply these. So we multiply 8 by 0, 2 by 0 and 3 by 0. The answer would be 0 plus 0 plus 0. What we did here exactly? 8 into 0 plus 2 into 0 plus 3 into 0. Okay, the answer would be 0. Where would we write the 0? Just below the center bit. So we write it here. Okay, just below the center bit. Now here the output is 0 located at the center pixel. Next step is position after one shift. So here what we will do is we write our image again 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 and then we shift our kernel by one position so this was our kernel we we'll just shift it here 8 2 3 and again we we'll do the same step our 0 was here so we we'll write it as it is the result of the previous step and then we we'll do the same process 8 into 0 plus 2 into 0 plus 3 into 0 which would be 0 again right so we write it just under the center bit. Output is 0. Next step is position after two shifts. So what we'll do is we'll write our padded image here. And then we write our kernel again shifted by two shifts okay so which means that we just shift it again so 8 2 
3. So in each step, we just have to shift this by one position, all right? So uh, we'll again write the results of the previous step. And then we just do the same thing, which is 8 into 0 plus 2 into 0 plus 3 into 1. Now here the answer is 3. Where will we write it? Just below the center bit. So output produced is 3. Next step is position after 3 shifts. So again we write our image. And then the corner shifted by one position. So 8, 2, 3. And the results of the previous step. And then we do the same step. 8 into 0 plus 2 into 1 plus 3 into 0. Answer would be 2. We write it below the center step. Output produced is two. Now again we will do the same thing. I have already written it down for you. So 8 1 plus 2 into 0 plus 3 into 0 which gives us 8 and we did the center row. Output produced is 8. In the next step, we can write out the previous step. And this is 8 into 0 plus 2 into 0 plus 3 into 0, which is 0. And we write it here. Output produced. Is zero. Next we have correlation. Now in correlation we have the same question here. Okay, I equal to zero zero one zero zero and k equal to three to eight. Now the only difference between correlation and convolution is that in convolution we rotate this kernel by 180 degrees but in correlation we leave it as it is so I've already done this question for you okay the first one zero padding step we we'll just write down the kernel as it is and then we'll pad the zeros uh, with two zeros in the front and back next step is initial position so again we we'll write down the kernel and the padded image and we get the output as zero In the third step, we shift it by one position and then we again do the same steps. We will get the output as zero and again in the fourth step, we shift it by one position, the kernel, and we get the output as eight. Similarly, we do the next step, we get the answer two and then in the next step, that is after four shifts, we get the answer as three. Now the position after 5 shifts is 0, the output is 0 and in the final position again the output is 0. So further shifting exceeds the range, therefore in the final position, that is this position, the output produces 0, 0, 8, 2, 3, 0, 0 and this is our final answer for correlation. Now let's look at one more example here. Okay, this is for 2D images. Let i equal to 3, 3, 3, 3 be an image and k equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 be a kernel or mask. Perform convolution and correlation. Now let's perform convolution first. The first step in convolution is the zero padding, right? And we also have to rotate the kernel by 180 degrees. So let's rotate the kernel first. Our kernel is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now rotate the kernel by 180 degrees 
so how would we do that what will our new kernel be first we rotate this kernel vertically okay which means that if it is one two three four we just rotate it vertically which means we'll exchange these two elements so this would become three one four two right now we rotate it horizontally so which means we rotate we'll exchange these two elements so this would become four three two one so this is our rotated kernel okay so we write four three two one here now let's start with our convolution so first we write down our image which was three 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 and then we pad it with zeros on all the sides so we just add zeros on all the sides now our kernel was four three two one so just imagine that if this was our kernel k dash equal to four three two one then imagine that this three and this one coincides okay so if this is our image you're placing the mask over here okay so the mask values would be four three two one right now just multiply these values 4 into 0 plus 3 into 0 plus 2 into 0 plus 3 into 1 the answer would be 3 right so we write down 3 here in place of this value we write 3 and all the other values will remain the same so we we'll just fill this up okay so this is our output of the first step now the second step we just write down the output here three zero 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 three three zero like this now again we had our kernel now imagine that if this is your image you're placing the kernel such that this one coincides with the next three which is this okay so you would be placing your mask over here the mask values would be four three two one and then again we perform the same step which is four into zero four into zero plus 3 into 0 plus 2 into 3 plus 1 into 3 the answer would be 0 plus 0 plus 6 plus 3 which is 9 now where will we write this 9 we write it at the second position so our answer would be three nine zero 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 three three zero zero three three zero and zero 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 so this is our output of the second step now for our next step we write down the output of the previous step which was three nine zero 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 three three zero zero three three zero and zero 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 now imagine if this is your image you are placing the kernel over here okay so your kernel values are four three two one so this would be four into zero plus 3 into 0 plus 2 into 3 
plus 1 into 0 which will come out to be 6 now this 6 you will write at this position so our output image would be 3 9 6 0 0 3 3 0 0 3 3 3 sorry 0 3 3 0 and 0 0 0 0 Similarly, I have done the next steps for you. We just wrote down the output of the previous step and then we took the image, we took the kernel here and we multiplied these values. So we got the output here, which again we wrote in our next step and here we have the image and the kernel coinciding. So we just keep shifting the kernel and we got the output as this. Next, we wrote the output from the previous step the image and the kernel here and this was the output now again we took the output from the previous step we placed the kernel here and we multiplied we got this as our value which again we placed it here we kept the kernel here so we are just shifting the kernel by one one position and we got the output as this okay just keep in mind that every time you're writing the value of this when you're multiplying and you're writing the value you should write it at this position so here we have written the new output value and in this example we have written it down here okay and for this one again we have written down the value here okay so this was our final answer this is our output image because the kernel cannot be shifted any further. So this is our final output image and similarly for correlation we have to perform the same steps but we don't have to uh, we don't have to rotate the kernel by 180 degrees. okay so we have to use the same steps. you can do it on your own just we'll be using the same kernel which was there in the question which was one two three four. okay so that's it for this lecture. I will see you in the next one.